Essentially, you want a pleasant experience in the body, pleasant in the mind, pleasant in the emotion, pleasant in the energy. This you can do 100%. This is what inner engineering is about. This is all we want. We want pleasantness of body, mind, emotion, energy and world around our situations. If you become pleasant in your body, we call this health. If you become very pleasant in your body, we call this pleasure. If your mind becomes pleasant, we call this peace. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it joy. If your emotion becomes pleasant, we call this love. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it compassion. If your very life energies become pleasant, we call this bliss. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it ecstasy. If your surroundings become pleasant, we call it success. Don't get things mixed up. To make your surroundings pleasant is a question of competence, is a question of being able to garner the cooperation of all the life and forces around us. There are various things, skills involved. But to, co to bring pleasantness to your body, to your mind, to your uh, emotions and energy is 100% your business. There is nobody else involved in this, isn't it? So, you call it fulfillment, you call it happiness, you call it joy, you call it bliss, you call it… Ex yeah, essentially, this is all nothing. Essentially, you want a pleasant experience in the body, pleasant in the mind, pleasant in the emotion, pleasant in the energy. This you can do one hundred percent. This is what inner engineering is about. Creating pleasantness in the world around us, it is a continuous job, we have to do it continuously. There will always be people who will be throwing unpleasant things around you, but you need to constantly work because you want pleasantness around you, not for any other reason. You want to live in a pleasant world, so you keep doing that. But pleasantness of body, mind, emotion and energy is one hundred percent your business. If you do the necessary engi inner engineering which you gave up halfway, that can be achieved. My pleasant emotions, my unpleasant emotions have nothing to do with you. Maybe you're not a wonderful man, maybe you're not a rogue, maybe you're none of the things that I'm thinking, all right? But this is my psychological reality. When I misunderstand my psychological reality as your condition, then I will be always making these blunders throughout my life. So this is the fundamental thing we need to set, that inner engineering means this, that you align yourself. See, do not talk about things which are not in experience. You said spirit, soul, uh, whatever, there were a few more words. Anyway, let's leave that. The only things you know is you have a body. This for real, right? See, you have a body. You have thought. You have emotion. To make these things function, you have energy. These are the only four realities which are in your experience. Rest is all your imagination, including the world. Including the world. Because right now, you think you see me. No, no. You see me not here or there somewhere. You see me only in the firmament of your mind, isn't it? So, how will you see me? You will see me depending upon the shape of the screen that you have. Accordingly, you will see. Sure. So, you do not experience anything here in this world except yourself, except the way things happen within yourself. This is why inner engineering is fundamental and vital because you fix that. You fix how things happen within you. Once you fix that, it's not that you sit here, it, this is not a charm school where you sit here and look at everything and say, it's fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. No, not everything in the world is fantastic. There are a lot of ugly things, there are a lot of terrible things, there are a lot of horrendous things happening every moment in this world, all right? So, seeing everything as it is, what is horrendous is horrendous, what is fantastic is fantastic, what is beautiful is beautiful, Beautiful, what is ugly is ugly, seeing it as it is, but you are in a state where neither the beautiful nor the ugly changes the way you are. You experience the beauty, you experience the ugliness, but it doesn't change who you are. Who you are is well established, not on the basis of your identity, but on the basis of your perception.